And we're also learning more about one of the defendants. Let's turn to CBS 13's Marissa Perlman live now with more on the woman teaching in the Pollock Pine School District, Marissa, until a couple of days ago. Yeah, that's right, Tony. We know this former employee was a special education teacher here at Guiding Hands until it closed after Max Benson's death. But tonight, we're learning that she'd been working as a teacher in this area up until just two days ago. Kim, any message for the family today? Exiting the El Dorado County Courthouse, Kim Woolwind looked down, ignored questions and cameras. The district attorney says she was the employee who restrained Max Benson, resulting in his death. CBS 13 has now learned she's a special education teacher at Sierra Ridge Middle School in the Pollock Pines School District. In court, all three defendants were given pre-trial release conditions. As part of these conditions, they're not allowed to teach or be involved in daycare services. Walwen's attorney said she stopped teaching at Sierra Ridge just two days ago. Sierra Ridge has hired her. I think maybe they should reassess and see what needs to happen there. And parents whose kids go to Sierra Ridge tell us they're upset to hear Walwen was still teaching there. I would not be very happy to hear that a teacher like that would be at a school where my son went or went to now. I think it's disgraceful and I think she should be fired. Well, Sierra Ridge did release a statement saying in part that they can't comment on an employee who's now facing criminal charges, but they do say, do say rather, student safety is a primary concern of, of theirs. At 6 tonight, we're digging deeper into why this former employee is still credentialed with the state and why she was still able to teach at Sierra Ridge. Guys.